Okay, now we are in the advanced mode of securing Maxis Wi-Fi modem. One of the things that we can do is to disable the SSID broadcast. And uh, this can be done under advanced settings, um, WLAN basic settings. So in this page, just select disable for SSID broadcast and then click apply. And um, by doing so, we are actually hiding the network name uh, from the strangers connecting list so that they won't be able to see our network name in the list. Okay, um, if we want to further enhance the security of the network, we can set the MAC filter. So this can be done under wire setting, WLAN, MAC filter. Okay, in this page, just click allow for MAC restrict mode and then enter all the MAC addresses of your devices. Um, basically, all devices with the wireless connection capability should have the MAC address in the device. And um, for example, it can be found in Apple iPad in this page. So by applying this security setting, we are only allowing the devices that we registered in this page. Devices that are not registered will not be able to connect to the network. So that will give you better security. Alright, lastly, um, we can change the password of the modem login page. So just go to advanced settings and uh, click system. And then click modify password. So in this page, uh, put in the default password, which is admin, and uh, replace it with a new password that you want. Of course, um, put in some longer password, which is more secure. Okay, so that's all for uh, the advanced mode securing Maxis Wi-Fi modem. Okay, now the SSID broadcast is disabled. So let's see how do we connect to the network using the iPad. So of course the first thing we need to enable the Wi-Fi signal. Okay, as you can see, the network name is not in the list right now because the SSID is hidden. One of the benefits is to prevent strangers from connecting to our network. So the network will only be known by you and the people that you want to share to. Okay, so for the first time that you want to connect to this network, you will have to add the network manually. Okay, put in the SSID that we just set. And please note that uh, the case must be correct. The security level that I set is uh, WPA2. And the password This, is, this password will be the WPA preset key that we set in the control panel of the modem. Okay, after that, just click join. There you go. The name of the network is now in the list and it is connected. So the next time you want to connect to the same network, it will automatically be detected. So you don't have to re-enter all the settings again. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching.